This is a story about your daddy, Stephen Loschavo, who was an exceptional person and whose ambition and love for life enabled him to fill a lifetime of achievements in just 31 short years. Daddy was born in December 1970 to wonderful parents Nancy and Sam Loschavo, your grandparents, and was the youngest of four children. He went to St Peter's Primary School in East Bentley and then attended St Bede's College in Mentone and in year 12 was chosen as school captain. He loved most sports, especially playing tennis and football and was a devoted St Kilda supporter. From a very young age, Daddy's interest in business and investment opportunities was highly inspired by his father, your Nunno Sam. This was evident throughout his life as he had a very strong work ethic and had his career path planned very early on in his life. From the age of six, he started reading the newspaper, the business section of course, and continued to read it religiously every day of his life. Your Daddy Steve was a conscientious student who was academically brilliant and successfully completed his commerce degree with honours at Melbourne University. At Melbourne University, he was one of the founding members of the Financial Marketing Association of Australia. He then went to work at Ernst & Young in corporate finance and then moved on to work at National Foods as a business development manager. Your daddy moved through the corporate world at a rapid rate for someone his age and was well respected by his peers. Despite his amazing ability to remember exact dates, times and events, your daddy was fun to be around and loved performing to an audience. He had confidence, poise and a good sense of humour and so public speaking was second nature to him. His ability to impersonate people was not only entertaining but legendary as he worked the crowd with his theatrical talents. Steve was a very giving person and believed that the way to have good friends was to be a good friend. And so throughout his life he gave to so many who were not as fortunate. He would have been proud to know that his funeral helped raise an overwhelming amount of donations for the Heart Foundation. In February 1997, your daddy and I were married after having dated for six years. Two years later, we went on a holiday of a lifetime to America and Europe after much persuasion on my behalf for him to take some time off work to travel. I'm glad we did because we had a wonderful time and have beautiful memories to hold on to. A year later, Sarah, you were born and your daddy simply adored you and enjoyed all the challenges of being a father. Two years later, we were expecting a little sister for you but two months before the arrival of baby Stephanie, your daddy passed away suddenly at home of a heart attack. Two sets of ambulance and paramedics tried to revive him for 40 minutes, but to no avail. When they told me they did everything they could, I kept insisting that they weren't trying hard enough because this wasn't meant to have happened to a healthy 31 year old who wasn't unfit and who never drank or smoked. Unfortunately, we never had the chance to say goodbye and he never got the chance to see his precious second daughter being born and that's you, Stephanie. And even though you, Stephanie, didn't get to meet him, know he loves you and Sarah very much. It saddens me to know that he will never get to walk you girls down the aisle, make speeches at your weddings and be a grandfather because they were things we often spoke about and you could tell by the gleam in his eyes how much he looked forward to doing those things one day. One thing you should remember is that your daddy, who is now in heaven, loves you both very much and will be your special guardian angel who will watch over you for the rest of your life. And while his life was short, his achievements were many. He touched the life of everyone he met and he will inspire us through the rest of our lives.